がとうございます。Here we go. Так, вот здесь, да? Okay, slowly. Slowly, please support him. I'm okay. Let's go to the bus. Careful. Okay, over here. Did you switch Mattel and switch Thank you. We're glad to welcome you in Kazakhstan. We're glad you had a successful landing. Congratulations on work successfully done. Let's wish to the crew good health and successful trip back home. There is a tradition. We give our national clothing to the crew members. A dombra, a Kazakhstan traditional musical instrument. And the best candy in the world from Karaganda with the crew photograph. We will definitely play this instrument. In my turn, on behalf of the management, I would like to congratulate you on the successful completion of flight and return to the ground, return to Earth in Kazakhstan. Uh, we have some small traditional souvenirs we would like to present to you as gifts. Uh, here's the descent module in the back and the front has the picture of the cosmonaut. These are traditional Russian nesting dolls. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. From the Air Force, uh, congratulations. Thank you once again for hosting us. You play an important part. Karaganda uh, plays an important part in the return of our crews from space. We want to appreciate you for that with a picture that was taken on all of it with you and your city from space. Uh, 
Уважаемый господин Аким, вы играете очень важную роль в возвращении экипажа на Землю с Международной космической станции. Мы хотели бы очень вас поблагодарить и подарить вам этот подарок. Это фотография города Карганда, которая была сделана с Международной космической станции. It is a big honor for me to have been the commander of such a wonderful crew. I was very fortunate. I have had a wonderful time on board of the station. Yeah, I'm very glad to uh, have been able to complete this mission. I miss the other crew members on board who remained on the station. And I wish them to have a successful mission and have a good time. Which language were you speaking? And the robot? The robot speaks, speaks Japanese, so I was able to speak uh, Japanese to the robot. A question. Could you repeat it, please? What, what do you mean, impacted work? New station. Um, I apologize. Uh, um, the way you worded the question, um, uh, the, the way you worded the question, could you rephrase it? We have a positive attitude uh, because we've been working in the program from the very beginning. And we're very glad that the work is going on. And it would be good if the work is uh, going on longer than we originally expected. We need to make sure um, that we have uh, excellent results other than just have the machine going on and making all the traditional operational sounds. Yeah, can you repeat the actual question? There seems like there were a lot of questions in there. Повторите, пожалуйста, еще вопрос. Может быть, переформулируйте его, и я отвечу. Будет, наверное, вероятность, что напряженные отношения между Россией и США могут как низко сотрудничать с космической отраслью. Ваша реакция как представитель непосредственно того, как занимающийся этим правительством? I think we're always going to have some form of cooperation between our countries. Excuse me. It's just a question of uh, how long and what we do together, you know, as, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what do we do as countries doesn't affect how we, uh, how we work together on orbit. Misha and Koichi and I and all our other Russian and American colleagues, so we worked uh, fantastically and we are close friends. Uh, <laughs> Please allow me to add a couple of words. You see, the obvious success of our work in space can serve as a very good example how we should work jointly on Earth. And I think we need to learn from each other, learn good things from each other. I can try to say, of course, uh, people are all human beings and they're alive, their interests are alive. So the discussion is not, the arguments is not who is right, who is wrong. Productive discussions 
that um, are aiming to find the truth. Thank you very much. You see, please avoid political questions. These crew members are not fully aware of the situation going on the ground. Thank you. We would, we would love to talk about something a, a lot more natural. Thank you. Let's pick up slowly. Thank you. Thank you. Rick Mastracchio, welcome home. Uh, an amazing six months aboard the International Space Station. I was struck uh, by the fact that um, four trips to the station during your career, one long duration flight, obviously, this one, you've watched this station grow and mature over the course of your whole career, practically. What were your thoughts when you and your crewmates uh, departed uh, in your Soyuz vehicle, headed back to Earth, and took a look back at what had been your home for the past six months? Well, looking back at the expedition overall, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like we accomplished a lot of things. We did a lot of science. We did several EVAs and spacewalks to, uh, to re repair the space station. And of course, we had a couple of visiting vehicles while we were there. So I think we accomplished everything the program asked us to do and maybe a little bit more. So I felt good about it. The ride downhill on Soyuz. Uh, everybody calls it the e-ticket at Disneyland. Uh, what were your thoughts? What was the most thrilling part of it all? Yeah, it's uh, I, I, the words in my mind were wild ride, you know, and it was wild. Uh, first of all, just getting yourself as tight as you can in that seat is a challenge. And then uh, once the uh, once you go through entry, pulling about five Gs, that wasn't actually too bad. But then it really starts when the parachute deployment sequence starts, and you get tossed around quite a bit. And then of course the uh, the final impact with the good old planet Earth was a lot harder than I expected it to be, but. I feel great. I felt good through the whole thing. I felt great after landing, and it was uh, everything worked out perfectly. Your thoughts, your impressions as you uh, took a breath of fresh air for the first time in six months and uh, saw all this crowd around you and smelled the earth, uh, some of the sensory thoughts that went through your mind. Yeah, uh, first of all, the, the cold air, the, the cool air coming in was fantastic. You know, you breathe the uh, space station air, which is is very clean, of course, but it's nothing like uh, the air we have here on Earth. And so that was the first impression. Uh, you know, the other thing I was thinking <clears throat> before we landed, I was thinking, well, there has to be uh, about a hundred different miracles have to happen between undocking and landing. And uh, every one of them worked perfectly. And uh, I, I was just overjoyed to be on the ground. And, and when they opened up the hatch, I was very, very happy. Rick, when you have an opportunity uh, weeks or months from now to look back and think about what you've accomplished during this particular flight and all the, the major milestones of Expedition 38 and 39, what do you think, uh, if you were writing the legacy of this pair of increments, would be uh, uh, outstanding in your mind? Well, of course, we had the, uh, the spacewalks. Those are always uh, very dramatic and uh, very important, of course. The visiting vehicles, of course, we had a, one of the Cygnus and a SpaceX. But I tell you, I think uh, after SpaceX arrived, and it was after Cygnus and SpaceX arrived, it's amazing the amount of science that we do up there. And that's when really, uh, it's, that's when the fun begins, in my opinion. That's when we start to get out these really good experiments, and we work on them for a few days, and we collect the samples, and then pack them up and get them ready to return to Earth. And those were the days that I enjoyed the most, where we're really doing a lot of science, because that's the reason we're up there. And the international flavor of, uh, of your crew and your crewmates and the close bond that you struck with them uh, offer a, a few thoughts about what the International Space Station means in terms of uh, a global village up in orbit. Yeah, of course, all my crewmates were great. We got along fantastic. And I always tell folks, you know, yeah, even though we had uh, astronauts from Japan and the United States and we had cosmonauts from Russia, I don't look at those at the, as my crewmates as from being from Russia or from Japan or from different places. I look at them as just my friends and my crewmates. And that's a great way to, in, in any uh, endeavor, I think that's a great way to think about folks as just as, as friends and, and as, as people. Welcome home, Rick. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks. Expedition 39 Commander Koichi Wakata, welcome home, Koichi. Uh, just an amazing six months in orbit. You know, throughout your career, you helped build the station. You inaugurated the six-person crew on the station. First Japanese commander of the International Space Station, quite an honor. Uh, 
as you look back on all that you've done in support of this facility, what stands out and what stands out in particular about the mission you've just completed? Well, I think I'm a very lucky person to be able to see this, uh, to participate in the uh, construction assembly and the, uh, the operation of the International Space Station. With the six crew members on board the space station, we're in the stage of uh, full utilization of the assets and then uh, human resources to, to do the science. So I'm uh, very impressed with uh, what we can do in using this uh, human post uh, in space. As you uh, undocked and uh, backed away from this place that had been your home for the past six months, what were your thoughts uh, as you look back uh, and some of the some of the reminiscing you might have done uh, during a moment or two before re-entry? Yeah, that's a, uh, I think it's a bitter sweet feeling. Um, I uh, really enjoyed uh, the six months uh, on this flight, and then uh, we did a lot with a great teamwork uh, on the ground as well as on board. I was lucky to be able to work with this wonderful crew. And uh, of course, I uh, you know wanted to see my family members, but uh, I know that I will miss the beautiful view from the cupola and all the windows of the space station, and then miss this uh, floating and uh, having these exciting days of uh, science and uh, maintenance and spacewalks and uh, robotics operations. So uh, it's amazing to 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 see that uh, with the uh, cooperation between the partner countries, we can do great things and uh, it's an amazing view to see the space station uh, it's a huge complex in flying and in the low earth orbit uh, and i am really hoping that i'll be able to see this international cooperation will bring us further to uh, beyond low earth orbit uh, moon or asteroid or mars and uh, i would really like to to see that uh, coming in the very near future welcome home koichi thanks thank very you. much thank you rob あ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。あの、ちょっと期待材を得られて、え、の、今の、え、お気持ち、特にあの、今回あの、船長という立場でえ、この大学を得られたわけですが、そのあたりも含めての今のお気持ちを聞
Thank you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I will try. Hello. Oh, uh, yes, all in good term. In good time. Thank you.